I'm Billy. I'm Jimmy. And this is It's the Bourbon Talking. And you just found episode number 63. Look at you go. Anyway, glad you made it. Glad you found us. We're going to be rating a bourbon today. It's one that we've had on the show before. And believe it, this is how we do this. I come in, get the studio set up. Jimmy's in the kitchen picking out a bourbon. He comes walking in with this bourbon and says, hey, I think we've done this one on the podcast before. So I look through our previous episodes, and on October 2nd, 2023, we rated this bourbon. It's just bizarre. So we're going to do it again. Exactly. 12 months to 12 the day. 12 months to the day. Well, you're probably going to see this video on the 3rd, but we're filming it on the 2nd. So this is just weird. Yeah, and, blade and bow. Yeah, and I don't believe in coinkadinkies. So we'll, we're going to rate this at the end, and we'll see how it stacks up against what we rated it last time. Right, because I ain't watched that video in about a year, so and, I can't remember how we rated it and, last time. And Billy told me, I've never watched it. Yeah, <laughs> I, said, I told Timmy, I said, I know you ain't seen it. I've watched the analytics. What do you get when you have two microphones, a bottle of bourbon, and plenty of time to kill? It's the Bourbon Talking Podcast with Billy and Jimmy. Glad you found us. Sit back, relax. Let's see what we get into. But, uh, you know, taste buds change over time. Let's see how we do this one. Maybe it got better. Maybe it got worse. Maybe my tongue rotted off and fell out of my mouth. Can't taste anything now. Let's see. I'm going to pour me a healthy one just in case I like it. I got a feeling. <laughs> uh, just more to pour out if you don't. I got a... <laughs> I try not to waste bourbon. There's only one bourbon I wasted. Bourbon ready to drink. And if you need to get bugs off the front of your car, it's I'm probably not, pretty good stuff. I actually mixed it with Pepsi. <laughs> was it okay? Was it no, bitter? it was no. horrible there, too. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like Pepsi and turpentine. We don't it's need like to, a, oh, this is a horrible Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to, to bash bourbon. We either like it or don't. You may love it. You put your heart and soul and family tradition into it. But that stuff needs a label on us. <laughs> yeah, it does. That, yeah. All right, here it That'll is. run your car. Yeah. I'm, <clears throat> I'm going in. And those, uh, obviously, the, uh, the southeast is in a dire straits right now with Hurricane Helene hitting uh, the southeast. And we're in Florida. Uh, we had some wind and a little bit of rain, but... And it was a little damage in area, but for the most part, no fatalities, no no injuries that I know of. So we actually did okay. We're in the northeast Florida. Yeah, we live in on the coast of Nassau County, so up northeast, north Florida. Florida. So yeah. we we yeah, even though we saw some wind, not a lot of rain, a lot of wind. Uh, I think it got up to 105 gusts yeah. here. So, but you know, a lot of trees down. It, we lost power for nine hours here. Yeah, you lost it for a little bit longer, I think. Yeah. Yeah, almost a day. Yeah, almost. Uh, I lost power from twelve thirty at night till four the next day. Four okay, afternoon. so a little, yeah. little long. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, we lost power for about nine hours um, from midnight, to roughly midnight to about nine a.m. So it w- wasn't during the heat of the day, so we we were actually okay. But you know, you know what the sad thing is too is, you know, our co- our company's on a subcontract with FEMA to help out with this and FEMA has yet to activate the contract. Yeah. It, this is crazy. There's people that need help and FEMA, I mean, we're what four or five days into this. Yeah. And FEMA has not activated the contract. I mean, 160 plus dead fatalities and FEMA has not yet activated the contract. I mean, Hey, we're on standby to go, but I mean, why is FEMA waiting so long? So my little rant there, I mean, I, our government is absolutely messed up right now uh I, again we've this we've been on this contract for this whole administration and they have yet to activate this contract at all from the chemical train wreck in ohio yep. to that was to, that was about so east palestine yeah was probably a month after we got on that contract that, yeah that was about the time we got on the contract yeah because i remember when, when the train wreck we were kind of okay let's go we're ready. And nothing. Nothing burger. Crickets. Crickets. And, you know, we've had a couple of hurricanes since then and nothing. I mean, again, I I don't understand what FEMA's what FEMA's doing here. Yeah. This is crazy. So anyways, that's my little 
rant. And if you have connections to the federal government, please call them. Yeah. To pull the trigger. I know the Red Cross. Now, the Red Cross out operates independent independently. But every time I hear the word FEMA, they are directing people to Red Cross shelters and stuff like that. Because so, FEMA don't want to spend money. So it's I, as I if it's like a savings account. I know what's going on. Um, Ukraine's got plenty of money, though. Ukraine's loaded. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I mean, in Israel. I mean, they're, they're pumping money in Israel. And that's another disaster. That's World War Three about to happen right there. I mean, Iran just launched a barrage of missiles uh, at Israel and... You know, and the U.S. actually helped take most of them out. So Z- Zelensky found it very important when he was over here to explain to the American people from the big blocks, big big black propaganda box hanging on your wall. We don't TV. get that, we don't get that money. Is what he's saying. So yeah, Congress just gave me another two hundred billion, but we don't get that money. That money goes directly to the American worker, is what he was saying. It goes to those workers that work in the munition plants that build the bombs. So you can feel a little better about giving up Where that the tax going. money. Because, yes, that's true. There's not C-17 pallets of cash going to Zil- well, I don't know. There probably is. I'm thinking there's some there, cash because they've got to get it's out going and get some to of their the Tal- own. That's how yep. it goes through the Taliban. Yeah. We send C-17 pallets of cash to the Taliban every week. Look it up. Prove me wrong. They oh. get weekly airdrop shipments of cash. Now, if you and I was to fund a terrorist group, we'd probably get shot in the face and put in prison for life. But that's just me. Anyway. We're back. That was a break from our sponsors. <laughs> Take that check to the bank. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so we're just uh, catching up. We got a uh, hurricane Helene cleanup going on. Um, we got World War Three going on over in the Middle East between Iran and Israel. And what other catastrophic events happening right now? Oh yeah, half of Hollywood's about to crash and burn with the the Diddy tapes. Yeah, and. Rumors are it's coming to country music in Nashville next. <laughs> so, they uh, said, so who's the big suspect there? That Garth Brooks guy's always been a little funny to me. So my money's on Garth Brooks. Really? I'm thinking Dolly Parton's running the uh, the Diddy trains no, over here. Dar- <laughs> Dolly's a sweetie. <laughs> That's the one that should scare you, the four foot eleven one. <laughs> yeah, Dolly's a sweetie. Plus I've met her. So I've never met her. I met Garth Brooks at a gas station too. Never met him either. Yeah. I don't think I've ever met a country GMC artist. diesel truck pulled up next to us when I was filling a van up with gas, doing hardwood floors, and oh. I did something you're not supposed to. I just stepped across the pumps and started petting this black Labrador that was sitting in the back of the truck. And the guy got out. Yeah, that's my dog so and so. I don't remember his name. And I was like, Holy crap, you're Garth Brooks. And he started turning around behind himself. Yeah, I am. He was a nice guy. Hey, you're it. Who are you? He was living (laughs) in the governor's mansion, invited us up for dinner. We got there, drove up to the mountain, pressed the buzzer on the gate, pressed it again, pressed it about four more times. No one ever let us in. (laughs) But he was nice at the gas station, but yeah. So you didn't get to go see him? No. <laughs> no. He probably wasn't really at the governor's mansion. <laughs> he just no, wanted you to he, get arrested. <laughs> he actually lived there. Yeah, he, he lived there and, and and owned a place in Nashville. See, that'd be and a line was, I would uh, give at the gas station. Hey, come see me. I'm staying yeah. at the governor's mansion. Where, where's that at? It's the highest point yeah. mountain in the house on Where top I'm actually at the Holiday Inn around the corner, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but he invited us up and... Rang the doorbell. Nobody was home. Yeah. So another breaking news. Well, not necessarily. Do, 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 yeah. do, 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 the Jaguars lost again. Oh man, why didn't you bring that up? <laughs> yeah. How's Owen Four feel? I think we felt it before, so we know how it feels. I, again, uh, Lawrence, try, think about it. You need to give some of that money back. You're way underperforming. You right now suck. This message goes directly to Bill Belichick. I know you watch this podcast, Bill. 
<laughs> Come on, Bill. Sign Give the contract. Tom, Come on Tom, in. Tom Brady's not that good on you know commentating on TV. Why don't you give? Why don't you give Tom a call? You know, just for a season. You know, and and just see how you and Tom like Jacksonville. You know, stay away from Moncrief. I mean, <laughs> there's some nice areas around that. White Oak. I mean, Moncrief. All right. I mean, so you can live in St. Augustine, Hundred you know, Third Street. Just, <laughs> Okay, we'll give you we'll, we'll draw you a map and highlight red areas not to go. <laughs> That's pretty much all of Duval County. <laughs> so, well, anyway. I mean, hey, look, look it there's, has there's some got, surrounding nice counties. I bet there's some areas in Massachusetts around the Boston area where he was that, you well, know, yeah, not not good or safe to go down. And the weather is, well, the weather is not great here. I mean, it's hot or it's cold or it's windy or it's raining. There's certain times of the day it's nice. Yeah. Well, it's okay. It's it's not the best, but hey, we we are passionate about our football here. Right. We're slowly becoming unpassionate though. Well, no, we're staying passionate. We're just losing all hopes and dreams. Come on, Bill. Come on. This is our twenty fifth year of rebuilding. Right. In a row. Yeah, this is this is a building. <laughs> we want to actually make it to the Super yeah. Bowl once. I mean, yeah. We want to yeah. at least taste it. You know, so again, at the end of the day, uh, again, we're tired of rebuilding every single year. Uh, yeah. And the Dolphins. How about them lost. Dolphins? I was about to say, they how, about, lost. how about them Dolphins? I mean, they brought in a quarterback that, I mean, he just stunk up the field. <laughs> he was horrible. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, mm. they need to go back to the original backup because this backup sucks. Right. The backup to the backup. Yeah, the backup. We need a plan D. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, no, it, it, yeah, that was a horrible display of football on a Monday night. I mean, hey, so the local kid here who played high school football – Five miles down the road here, Derrick Henry, I mean, literally broke out first play of the game, 87 yards. Touchdown for the Ravens. That run, which was the largest run in Ravens franchise history, look, Derrick Henry is a bulldozer. Just manhandles you, stiff yep. arms you, drag you. I've known Derrick Henry since he was 12 years old. I did not know he was that fast. Oh, did he you see him outrun all the speedsters? All the speedsters. Yes. It wasn't kind of close. No, he was walking he was away. Walking away. Yes. They, <laughs> they had the angle on him too, and he just hey. grabbed another gear. Derek Henry, you made Yuli proud again. It shocked me on I'm Monday like, night. I did not think he was that fast. You hey, you you did you did us proud. I'm telling you, yeah. outstanding game for you at the that's really a, a good young man right there. Yeah. So. And the next game when they're, you know, introducing you, Derrick Henry, Alabama. Come on, just one time. Derrick Henry, you lead go Hornets. Yeah. Let's, let's hear it one time. Yeah, one time. <laughs> and you're more than welcome to come on the show here. Yeah. 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 We got a seat for you, Derek. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's what we ought to do. I ought to try to Yeah. see if we can't get him over here. Yeah. Let me. I can make some calls. All right. Billy's yeah. going to make it happen. Yeah. Tom Cruise. Don't forget, Oprah Winfrey. Don't forget Garth Brooks. Daryl <laughs> Hall and John Oates. Pete Diddy. Delete that one. What about yeah. Usher? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, Jay-Z? <laughs> Beyonce? I don't know even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did yeah. you ever delete Hillary Clinton's number? Uh, I... Hillary is a very nice lady. <laughs> I like her policies, and she is a wonderful person, her and Bill. Yeah, no, I don't try to mention that name too loud. <laughs> Man, I think I got that on cue. Hang on. <laughs> I bet somewhere. Hang on. Attention, the bullshit meter has detected major BS. Confirmed. That's definitely some bullshit. There's only one thing Billy is worried about more 
than getting whacked by Hillary Clinton. Yeah, that's extremely hot sauce. Extremely hot sauce? Yeah, because then it give you like terrible heartburn or something. I want to be the kind of person that likes it. And yeah, but man, I can't. Okay, so Texas Pete, I can put that stuff on everything. That's good yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's good stuff. Eggs, I put everything. that on my omelet, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tabasco, man, that's about my level. That That's about. As high as you go. Tabasco makes my eyelids sweat. <laughs> yeah. And I like jalapenos, but those bright green crispy jalap- jalapenos, what oh, kind of jet fuel is growing them oh, things? The ones on the uh, Mexican roll at Salt Life? They're the size of your <laughs> pinky nail. Smaller. They're bright green and crispy, and they're on... It's on the su- Mexican sushi roll at Salt Life. God, we love them things. But it will light you alive. Oh, my. Your ear hole starts pouring sweat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man, too, good stuff, though. That is some good stuff. I, yeah. yeah, you just can't put enough of them on there. But I'm telling you, one will light you up. It will. And if you get some wasabi backwards up your nose hole or something, if you breathe the wrong way out your nose while eating wasabi... The hell was that? Hey, we're trying to film a podcast. Audience is going nuts. We're not going to do this today. They're going to be good. It's not going to take me 10 hours to edit this podcast. Back from our commercial break. Thank you for sticking around. Sure, that was a long one. Yeah. Well, to them, it's not that long. It could just be a blip and we're back. Yeah. It could have been. Could have been. Depends on how... Uh, Timmy, how are you going to edit this one? All right. Yeah. I, I think he's, yeah, he, he kind of let the last one go like really long, though. I thought you were going to break it up. Eh, I mean, hmm. 50 something minutes. That's long. Nobody has that kind of attention span out there on uh, the some technology. Pe- Jimmy, some people fall asleep at night listening to your voice. Yeah. <laughs> and we know that's all BS. Ooh. Here, I got, I got something for you. <laughs> this face and voice does not cure insomnia. <laughs> it provokes nightmares. So I keep seeing this headline pop up, Tim Walt saying that he is friends with school shooters. What possibly could he? Parents, I've become friends with school shooters. I've seen it. Look, the NRA, I was an NRA Wait, guy for what? a long time. They used to teach gun safety. America's gun violence epidemic. The le- Anyway, uh, Tim Walt says he's become <clears throat> friends with school shooters and i don't know what was going through his damn mind i guess he was trying to say that there are people too and they just need to be understood and they can be friendly i don't know i'm not even gonna try to speculate what the hell that meant i don't even think that could be misunderstood i'm sure he went home that night and went what's it <laughs> not sure that what did i say <laughs> i'm sure camilla and uh her staff are calling him up and saying what 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 are, you, what are you saying? Yeah. What, what what what's coming out of your mouth? Out of, out of all the crazy things they say, they yeah they they're they're, they probably, they're questioning him. Probably, <laughs> hey man, that was a little wild. Oh, that was out in left field, buddy. We, mm. Are you thinking before you speak? But I mean, this is the same guy that you know was in Tenement Square during. Yeah. You know. I misspoke. No, you just misspelled <laughs> lie. It yeah. didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't happen. I can't go around telling 39 lies 27 times a day, and then when you get caught, when you catch me on one, go, oh, I was being a knucklehead. I misspelled. I, yeah, exactly. Knucklehead. And then instantly get forgiven of it. No, you. Way more letters in knucklehead than lie. Yeah. You, you either lied or you're in the beginning stages of Alzheimer and dementia, and you just made that <laughs> some up. some serious mental issues going on, buddy. Either way, there's a major problem that we're and, sitting and here dealing were, with. I mean, you know, uh, we got Chuckles the Clown running for president, and we got Larry the Liar over here uh, running for VP. I mean, who is vetting these people to run on the Democratic ticket? We have three. Uh, seriously. Last count was 332 American citizens in this out of all of those people. <laughs> these were the two best Democratic no, I'll go candidates. this far. These are the four best people, Republican and Democrat. That's true. This is the best we can do to run our country. 
Yeah. You know, I'm sure everybody knows how I'm voting, but do I wish it was somebody else? Yeah. There's a lot of times some, um, you know, it's the worst of the two evils, I think. But you got, I mean, between Chuckles, you know, and Larry DeLire, I mean, I, 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 it, is this seriously the best two? I know. The Democratic gotta... Party? I mean, look, you know, I, I don't know. I, I just, I mean, they can't even spell economy, let alone try to fix it. They have no plan. I mean, but here's the people's, re- majority of people voting for Chuckles and Larry is because they're just anti-Trump. It's like, oh, I just can't have the uh, the orange guy going. I mean, and that's their reasoning. I mean, they have no valid reason why it's not their policies. I mean, it's it's nothing. It's just that they're anti-Trump. They gotta have common sense. They've got to see these people talking and the BS that spews out of their mouth. And it just really irritates me when people say, you know, if if Trump becomes president, we're going to lose all of our <clears throat> rights. To you didn't lose any rights last time he no. was president Matter and you had a lot more money in your wallet yeah you just i don't know they just don't like trump okay and i get that i i don't care for him a whole lot either i mean yeah some but of the, i do yeah. like his policy his business attitude and i yeah. like how other countries react to him and that's important and it should be important to you because we are 15 seconds away from seeing the bright flash in the sky. Yeah, so yeah, GoPro, get your shit together. I mean, we had to replace the battery. I mean, we're only filmed 30 minutes in 4K with a lithium yeah. battery. And Thanks, GoPro. These are problems we had a year ago. So anyway, yeah. I try. you know, we typically film in 1080p. We haven't been having problems for about a year. <clears throat> I said, hey, man, let's get some quality quality crisp image out to the peoples let's do 4k and uh we go to thermal overload at 32 minutes meltdown anyway but uh hey you want to rate this bourbon and call it a day see what we think of it today i guess so um did you have something else we want to talk about we can do that no i'm just trying to think here uh oh i know what that is you need a plumber I need a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> I can have Terry come over here and fix yeah, it. No, I just need to go to the store and buy the ten dollar part. <laughs> <laughs> That's a loud turlet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a bathroom right here behind the wall, and I got to fix the stopper on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, got yeah. a little leakage. Yeah. Wow, I mean, gosh, I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> We're having this conversation here on it's the bourbon talking about mm, my right. my home plumbing. I mean, I did have to buy a whole brand new hot water heater just, uh, just a couple of weeks ago yeah. because it exploded in my garage because it went into... It was two years old. The thing was tired. Yeah. Two, the hot water two year years old. Last more than yeah. two years. Reem, you need to get some better hot water heaters. Spe- I mean, especially one two years had. old and this one just explodes in my garage? Are you kidding me? Because it's some kind of hybrid stuff with a it HVAC fit. in it? I, uh, it's a hot water heater. <laughs> it's Pretty simple. crazy. Yeah, yeah, two years old basically a toaster with water running through it's not hard it's yeah it's crazy yeah anyways i mean appliances just aren't like they used to be eh. so we're talking about blade and bow today we're going to rate this one and uh do you want the cards or are we just going to come right out and give it a number and i'm not sure what he's trying to prove over there or do or i don't know either it's it's got a vanna white mode for me, it, it was yeah, kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. That was creepy. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder nobody's ever sponsored us. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do the cards. You got the cards and the pens over there? Let's, no. let's try. Okay, I, let's I, yeah. let's just type it. No, I type. No. Okay. No, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I can actually give it a good, honest rating because, again, it's, yeah. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a good, solid 8.5. I mean, this is some really good stuff. I, I've always enjoyed it. Yeah, Blade and Bow's an 8 for me, definitely. It's just smooth. It's good. And it's blade. Let me, because price is everything. You can have something that's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. So Total Wine has Blade and Bow for about $43. It's it's really a great price for the bang for the buck. It's really good. I, I think Blade and Bow is right there by Buffalo Trace with me. 
I, I like it. If not a little better. I mean, it's yeah, actually it could smooth. Be. Yeah, yeah. It could be a little better. And, and it comes with this kind of cool. They put a key on it. And all the keys are numbered. And apparently if you collect all the, the keys in numerical order, whichever they run up to, you know, you can send it. And I think they send you a bottle of bourbon. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me on that. But, what? yeah. Yeah, that's fine. But you got to, yeah, collect all the keys. Yeah. But anyway. Okay, so the the first no person to email us at info at it's the bourbon talking dot com with that answer, Jimmy no, is going to give no, you a no, prize. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a tip. Don't party with Diddy. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Number four. My five year old LASIK surgery. Oh, there it is. Number four. All right. Ooh, key number four. If you need key I number four, um, yeah, hey, key email us. We'll, I'll send it to you. It's That's not, your prize. If you need key number four for your collection, email us. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. But again, I think. Who's looking for key number four? We got it. I think they all have number four. I think it's kind of oh, like, yeah, yeah, you know, like number nine's never it, been published. <laughs> it wasn't key number 10,473. So. Yeah, no. Key number four, if you need it, email us. We'll send it to you. I mean, yeah. it's. Uh, hey, it will help you with your collection. And. If you get the free bottle, if that's what they do, I'm not sure. Um, we'll be glad to help you drink it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to cover shipping and handling, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I really like it. So you gave it an 8.5. I did. I gave it an 8. I think that would come up to a 8.25. Nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty good stuff. It anyway, good stuff. If you're out and about, if you never had it before and you see it on the shelf, Buy a bottle. I think you'll enjoy it. I'd highly recommend it. Yes, it's really, really smooth. And with that, and, you know, hey, to all the first responders and everybody helping with the cleanup on uh, Hurricane Aline and those who were devastated, you know, hey, our prayers and thoughts got every one of you. So stay safe out there. Absolutely. We'll see you guys on the next all one. All right. We're out here. Out here.